it's really scary. Residents across the metro have been trying to figure out what to do after getting property tax assessments that are sky high. They've gone up huge amounts. Now some county officials are taking early steps to help senior citizens keep them from having to pay more so they can stay in their homes. Those steps made possible by a new law passed by Missouri lawmakers signed by the governor. Fox Force Kevin Berry visited Platte County where that conversation started today. He's joining us tonight. Kev. Yeah, John Lauren, Platte County leaders are using a tool the state legislature gave them this past session to limit how much senior citizens have to pay in those property taxes. The hope is that by next year, it helps people like Frida Rhodes. When you're on one income and it's not very much, it, it's really rough. Especially after Frida Rhodes got a higher property tax assessment two years ago and then another one this year. She says other bills keep growing too, for a while making her fear the worst. I just don't know if my retirement money is going to cover this expense and how long I'm going to be able to stay here. Platte County Commissioner Dagmar Wood says Frida is hardly alone. We've even had some homeowners who've been in their homes for decades and who are on that fixed income talk about they might have to sell their homes. That's why Monday morning Commissioner Wood started the long process that could eventually implement Senate Bill 190 championed by State Senator Tony Lutkemeyer. It would freeze the amount that a senior pays when they turn 62 or are eligible for Social Security and their property taxes freeze at that rate and then they can never go up in the future. It's up to leaders in each of Missouri's 114 counties to implement the bill but if if they do, it would save people like Frida from having to worry about what the next assessment might bring. Right now, Platte County is putting a working group together to figure out how to create an application process for senior citizens. That could start in the next few months. We're getting our logistical ducks in a row so that when this does get passed, we are ready to hit the ground running. If all goes according to plan, Wood says residents like Frida would get their capped property tax bills in late 2024, knowing that that's the most they'll be asked to pay as long as they own their homes. It seems more doable. I'm not as frightened if my air conditioner goes out or my washing machine. Maybe I'll be able to save money through the year to accommodate those expenses. So that's up in Platte County, but Jackson County also started talking about potentially implementing that same bill just today. Senator Lutkemeyer says he's also been talking with leaders in other counties around the metro about adopting it in those places as well.